God's prophets are often known for some of the really weird things that they do that are called action prophecies. These are things that the prophets do in front of the people they've been called to prophesy to that symbolize God's actions, either present or future, that help them get the point across. One of these is in chapters 4 and 5 of Ezekiel, where he acts out the siege of Jerusalem. God wants his people in exile in Babylon to know just how bad things are going to get for their families and their friends back home before this is all over. Ezekiel makes a model of Jerusalem on a clay tablet, and he sets up little tiny siege engines and battering rams and soldiers all the way around it to play act the coming siege. And he's got to tie himself up with rope for a set number of days to symbolize the years of sin for Israel and for Judah. And then it gets weird. If you've ever seen Ezekiel bread in the grocery store, you'll find the recipe there in chapter 4. I always wonder if the bakery actually follows the recipe as it's laid out in the Bible or instead of changing it for modern tastes. And then it gets weirder still. When Ezekiel is commanded to shave his head with a sword and then scatter and burn his hair in precise proportions to symbolize the outcome of the siege of Jerusalem. So both chapters 4 and 5 end on a pretty hopeless note at first glance. And that's on purpose. There are horrifying days ahead for God's people because of their rebellion. God has given them everything that he has promised, and they threw it all away in favor of being popular with the nations around them. It isn't the end of the story, of course. Ezekiel performs a number of these action prophecies throughout his career, but they all drive to a certain goal. The restoration of God's people in the New Jerusalem which we'll look at a bit later. In these actions, God, through Ezekiel, wants his people to realize that there are consequences for their behavior and their acts of unbelief. But even then, he will not abandon them. He will call the faithful back together. He will restore Jerusalem so that his son can come to it and be the ultimate sacrifice and restoration for all not just Israel, but of all the world. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.